So most people know Thailand for their international parks, their beautiful beaches, and pleasant weather all year round. But what it's mostly known for is its huge sex industry, which contributes to modern day slavery, which is sex trafficking. So there's three different methods of sex trafficking. You're either tricked into it, you're sold into it, or you're kidnapped. And why does this awful crime exist? Um, poverty is one of the things. According to UNICEF, most Southeast Asian countries live on an income of less than $2 a day. Countries like Cambodia surrounding Thailand are targeted for their poverty level from city goers in Thailand looking for workers for their dance clubs, which, is, which are their brothels. They tell women and children that they have a well-paying job sewing or cleaning, then they're never to be heard from again. Or the family is so far in poverty that they're willing to sell one of their own children, wives, nieces, and granddaughters just to be able to survive. This is a picture of one of the houses in Women's Island off of Cambodia that I visited in 2010. So this is what they live in. So you can see that they're impoverished very much. And this is a picture of the floating villages off of Cambodia. Um, Obviously, their only agriculture support is fishing, so it's mostly targeted for, um, because there's no agriculture and they're really poor and they live in the houses like that, and our boats held up by cardboard. Education. Obviously, if you're living in an impoverished area, you're not going to be very educated. Um, according to Jason Chan, Decriminalizing of Prostitution in China, while all Southeast Asian countries have made trafficking illegal, um, this prohibition is rarely enforced primarily for the following reasons. Culturally, culturally integrated attitudes about women, borders, the difficulty detecting traffickers, and the fact that sex trafficking is such a lucrative enterprise often involving corrupt, corruption of law enforcement officials. So we talked about poverty and government being two of the reasons why this current um, these exploited victims inevitably suffer helpless desperation and violation of their human rights when seeking liberation from slavery. They either fear immigration officials because they were trafficked illegally around borders, um, legal systems, criminal organizations, and prospects of poverty, which is one of the reasons. Um, this is another picture I took while I was in Cambodia. We were in a um, restaurant right above that and we could overhear these guys talking to a local in Phnom Penh about where they could find prostitutes at. Um, Antonio Marie Costa, head of the UN Office on Drugs and Crime, said 200 years after the end of transatlantic slave, we have the obligation to fight a crime that has no place in the 21st century. Um, sex trafficking is completely preventable. Um, this is a picture of me and then two victims of sex trafficking. Their stories are horrible. One of them, I can't tell you which one, but um, dressed up as a boy just because of the fear of getting raped or kidnapped on the street while she was selling um, these postcards for her family trying to make money and later discovered that she was in fact a girl so they did take her and rape her and she had before she came to Rafa House, which is a safe home for girls that have been sex trafficked in Southeast Asia, she had to have multiple reconstructive surgeries. And then this is another picture of them. That's the end. Good job.